Fifi Inqua, a wire sculptor. You welcome to my home. Today I will be sharing a day in my life with you as a wire sculptor. I have a lot to talk about, so you stay with me. I started this work four times four years ago. Before I came into this, I could draw, I could paint as well, but I didn't know anything about sculptures. I met this sculptor who introduced me into this. He schooled me into it. Actually, he's like uh, a big brother. I get my materials from an Indian shop in Tema. That's the copper wire. But with the governors, I go to the scrap dealers. When I'm lucky, I get the right size that I want. They are, they are very scarce anyway. So I have to come around town to get the galvanized. With a work like this, it could take about five days to finish a work like this. All finished works are fixed on a base, the wooden crafted base. The only tool I use is the cutter, just to cut the wire. Everything is 100% handmade, apart from the base that is machine crafted. The more you weave, the harder it becomes. And the harder the wire is, the nicer your, your, your work looks. So I put much into it to make sure I get the right texture. The color of the wire also counts. The brighter it is, the nicer it looks. My works are not all that expensive. Their prices range from $50 to 1000 and over. Yeah, over the years, thankfully, um, I've done a lot of work and I've sold a lot too. Um, and I would love you to come over with me to the studio to see some of my works. This is Wild Wire Art Studio. I would like to tell you a little story about this piece that you see right here. This is a guitar player. I call this Ahmensian. Six strings, guitar strings. And after he had these works, this is what he uses to entertain himself and the family. I call this stretch for arms. I used to see this guy on the pavement in Accra begging for arms. That's where I used to buy my material. So one time I saw him and I said, no, I want to use this in my work. So I sculpted him right here with this broken umbrella that you see stretching for arms. There's an African lady who wants to show her beauty. I also have a savanna tree. This one, I just use the wire for the base. This is a savanna tree. This is seen at the northern part of Ghana during the Hamatan season. When I'm not sculpting, um, like my, my, my leisure time, I take a walk at the beach, I feel the breeze. Yeah. Or do a lot of exercise to, you know, free my mind. I can supply a gallery or a hotel and all the stuff can be bought the next day or that very day. When the goods are sold in time, they just give me a call for me to bring more. We are at the Enjoy Hotel in Sakumono, one of the outlets that I make my sales. This work puts food on the table and takes care of the family, so it's not bad. It's not bad. Currently, we are only two sculptors in this business. We are two uh, wire sculptors in this country. Uh, Eric Eneje is a great sculptor who has so much energy in his work. That's what I also apply to my works, making sure I put in more energy in the works. I want to leave a legacy in this industry. I don't want this business to die out. I want to train the youth to take over from us. Thank you.